The Sackville family coach arrives on the historic Vine Cricket Ground on the occasion of the bicentenary costume match on Saturday the 21st of July, 1734. After making a tour of the ground, his lordship descends from the coach to the applause of the assembled spectators and players in costume. He is accompanied by his rival captain, Viscount Gage, and by their guests, Commander Edgerton and Mr. Humphrey Brand. His lordship introduces some of the players to Viscount Gage, and then, after the ceremony of the toss, the two captains go out and witness the placing of the stumps and the cutting of the creases. While the umpires are settling the wickets, the captains return and the players prepare for the match. Divesting themselves of their coats and three-corner hats, the teams take the field. Ladies in costume provide a beautiful and appropriate setting for this unusual and indeed unique event. The two umpires carrying spare bats lead the teams while the two scorers keep the tally of runs by notches on sticks. In spite of the strange shape of the bat, many of the players find no difficulty in driving the ball. And indeed, one of the most interesting features of the day's play was that not only did the public witness an interesting pageant, but they also saw a most exciting and interesting cricket match. A view of the crowded stands. Lord Sackville's house party were seated in front of the grandstand on a row of chairs. The ladies who were watching the match sat on low benches, well in the field of play, and one trusts by their appearance thoroughly enjoyed themselves. The telegraph board did not exist in 1734, and therefore, in order that the public should know the score, these boards, with the score chalked on them, were carried round the ground by stewards in costume. One of the largest crowds ever assembled in Sevenoaks saw the game amid a perfect summer afternoon. A view of the match in progress. Captain Gage, the captain of the Sussex side, takes the field. Lord Sackville greets his friends in the member's enclosure. The Sussex innings having come to an end, both teams return to the pavilion. Lord Sackville, with ladies watching the match. Some of the male spectators essayed church warden pipes, but very few managed to make them draw. Lord Sackville, with on his left, Colonel Dunlop, 
and on his right, Captain the Viscount Gage, Captain of the Sussex team. <laughs>